Yay! Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll remember that James fell asleep at the dinner table and he slept from then through a transfer into the car, the whole car ride home, through the transfer home, into his crib, and did not wake up until like 6.30-ish. And that's pretty early for him, but the fact that he went to bed at like before seven o'clock last night, nuts. So, oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not used to waking up that early, so I am pretty tired. Two days from our due date. I'm on the exercise ball, I am like, mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. I have a little setup to try and keep James in the living room. Because physically, it's just the reality. We're, we're really close to the end here. So, not sure what we'll be doing today. I did a little bit of tidying, got laundry going. Um, but happy Monday. Maybe, maybe from baby week. I really get to click and but I'm looking for a sister to the line and win kiss on my If you want Fairgrounds breakfast slash lunch. Like I said, James got up early, so we're gonna eat a little bit earlier today. So Peter and I are splitting these sandwiches. There's a roasted salmon BLT and then turkey sandwich. And then he is gonna have this Vietnamese coffee, which has cinnamon in it and can and milk, which Peter puts Ooh. Peter puts cinnamon in his coffee a lot. What are you doing? And then I also got Jamesy some eggs and sausage and berries and potatoes. Everything was so good. Like, extra delicious. It was so good. Um, that was from Fairgrounds Cafe, which is in Wicker Park, which we have showed a couple of times. It's right off the blue line if you're ever visiting. I feel so bad. It is so nice out. Lawn work just started outside. Um, and I wish I had the gusto to go outside and I just don't, but we have the windows open, maybe after nap time. I come out of my first marathon of meetings of the day to James looking really sleepy. And he he laid, like laid back on Sarah and just nodded off. So it happens when we wake up super, super early. <laughs> okay, now we gotta get him in his crib without waking him up. Hey, Peter. Yeah. How is work today? Really crazy. You have had a Monday. James is so cute over there playing with this car. Anything with wheels. Alright, here we got dinner. Look how beautiful Southport is right now. We got it from Diagostinos. So good. So good. So beautiful out. But today is about cleaning. Peter is off to get the pizza. I have decided to get a membrane sweep tomorrow. So I'm a little nervous about it. I'm just thinking about it. I gotta pause also for a sec. Um, and I've gotten a ton of helpful feedback on Instagram of people's experiences. And honestly, everybody's different. Some people say it was nothing. Some people say it was an awful experience. Some people said it didn't do anything. Some people said it put them into labor in a couple of hours. So just that like unknown, we are going to have like a productive night. We're gonna make sure that we have everything we need in case I do happen to go into labor. Um, so I think I'm gonna do another target pickup just to like, I just wanna make sure that whoever is here with James is prepared not only to take care of him, but most likely Eve as well. Um, 
and just like to not have to worry about anything. So just like paper towels, like stuff like that. And then we're gonna spend the night cleaning, which is not fun and I'm definitely not up for it. Um, but that is what we're going to do. So we're rewarding ourselves with pizza before. On this absolutely gorgeous day. So we're cleaning tonight. We're doing like what we're calling the final big push to clean our apartment, get it ready for us to go to the hospital. Drove past Wrigley and I heard an uproar. Like we, had the, we had tickets to the game, but we decided last minute. Something else just happened. My phone, I, an uproar happened when I was driving past Wrigley. There was a grand slam. It's the bottom of the first and they're winning eight nothing. And I don't know what just happened, but I, we live close enough where we can hear the crowds. And I wouldn't be anywhere else than preparing my home for my next baby's arrival. But if we weren't doing that, I don't think there's anywhere else I'd be then at Wrigley tonight because of this beautiful weather. I gotta see if we can, we're gonna have to listen to it or something while we're cleaning, but we have to eat first. All right, here we go. We got deep dish pizza, pepperoni all over, half with jardinera, knocking some daisy cutter pale ale. We got french fries, we got ravioli, we got minestrone soup, and apparently that's a big cookie. Are you ready, James? James, are you helping us clean? Thank you so much. You look a little distracted but you're still making a valiant effort. All right, it is way later than I'd like it to be, but we're doing really good progress on cleaning. This is Christina and Grant's steam mop, and I'm in love with it. It's really good on the hardwood floors. I'm sweeping now, I see the mess there. Um, it's like 11:20, but bathroom's clean, tub's clean, toilet's clean, like scrubbed cleaned. Um, cabinets are like semi child proof because we're gonna have another 18 month old um, running around here hopefully next coming days whenever Teddy's arrivals are soon. I don't know the final score of the Cubs game um, but I think they kicked their butts so um, wish we could have gone to the game. Did you think? Sarah just came around the corner freaking out. She's doing something in the kitchen. Uh, yes, any moment now. I have to steam out because this is loud. Yes. All right. The apartment is 95% there. Floors have all been steamed, swept, steam mopped. It feels so good and clean. That table is actually clean. All that speckling, I think we said it before. Um, sometime, maybe while I'm on paternity leave, um, we're gonna order a piece of, a new piece of wood to go, cause that's like fake wood. It's a, tar I think it's a target piece of furniture, but that's fake wood. We're gonna order a real piece of wood that we're gonna get measured and cut, and we're gonna get to figure out what kind of stain we want on it. And we'll just replace the bottom circle and the top circle with real wood that won't speckle like that from getting hit with little kids. Cause we really do love the table. It's a perfect height, circular with no edges. It's really great for kids. Um, so we don't want to get rid of the table, but we don't want to have a deteriorating top like that. So complete side mini Peter Ramble, but I think this place is about ready for a new baby. Maybe we'll find out more news tomorrow. May 16th, Monday, Warren Buffett said once, you only have to do very few things right in your life so long as you don't do too many wrong things. Things wrong. As, <laughs> as long as you don't do too many things wrong. Like, like say this quote. quote. <laughs> I said it in uh, the front room a little bit ago that our apartment is like 98% there. Yeah. And our vans are like 98% there. Yeah, just like the immediate things that we need every day. Yeah, but I made, today I made Camera a room. list of like what we gotta do just before we leave. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Take that appointment in the morning. Oh my goodness. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I actually don't know if Sarah started the vlog. This is part two. This is a two-parter. 
I'm actually going to let him be content because he was a little bit in rare form a little bit ago. But James and I are just hanging out with Sarah's the doctor. Waiting to hear more news there. Waiting uh, to hear a call from her. But he's just playing with his, his boats and his blocks. Hello. I just sitting on my exercise ball um, and realized I never, I didn't take any clips this morning for my doctor's appointment. And uh, yeah, basically since then, oh wait, I did take a video of me getting a non-stress test, so I'll put that in. So, yeah, the day's been kind of, went by fast after I got home, um, and then James took a nap, and then I've been relaxing, because I was just, I was mentally exhausted, because I was very anxious about today, because I would kind of, like, you know, thought I was going to get this procedure done, and I am just, you know, this is the first, like, after my traumatic labor and delivery experience with James, it was like the first time it was going to be something similar to that and um yeah I was a bit in my head but we ended up not doing one today um I will be 40 weeks tomorrow and actually my midwife suggested this before I even communicated um that I had any anxiety so basically she suggested that because I'm not at my wits end and that most childbearing people do go you know, over 40 weeks that with our timeline, it, it'll work out best if we, at my next appointment, which will be in on Friday, we'll do it then. So this way we keep in mind, like they'll only, they want me to give birth by 42 weeks at the absolute latest. And so this way, this will kind of set us up for me to reach my goal of a spontaneous labor and that is our priority i'm feeling good teddy has been great the reason they had me do a non-stress test today was because his heart rate dipped for like a moment during our ultrasound and so they just did it just in case but they also do nsts um regularly once you hit your due date so it was just one a little a little early all my fluids look good. He's head down. He's face down. Um, yeah, so everything is looking great. We just decided to push that back. I did not get checked. No, nothing invasive whatsoever. We talked about all of our induction options, what I don't want, what I do want, and options for just managing anxiety and um, me being over communicative of what we want and just advocating for myself it was a really great visit but it just you know we kind of we were thinking if membrane sweeps they're hit or miss sometimes they work sometimes they don't sometimes it's in between sometimes it takes a couple it really just depends on the person so it's not like it was guaranteed that it would work that it would have worked but we were kind of preparing for me to potentially go into labor tonight. So we'll see. It can still happen. My midwife expressed that you don't have to feel awful before you go into labor. Like just because I'm feeling good to not be discouraged. I could wake up and be feeling the contractions and be like, my water's breaking. I gotta go. So a little bit less eventful than we thought, but still just like, another good confidence building appointment. So I'm gonna bounce. James is still snoozing. Um, and Peter ran to Target. Headed into parking for Target and Clark. We have an order pickup, but I'm also gonna grab a few one-off items as well. That is not part of the order. But workday is done. Trying to figure out what we're doing tonight, figure out what we're doing tomorrow for Sarah's birthday and figure out when this baby's coming. All right, quick and easy stop. Picked up some things, picked up some unexpected things to get the, the birthday festivities going here for Sarah. This is for Jamesy next time we go to the beach. Um, and it's cold again. It's in, it's below 60 now in Chicago, but that's the way Chicago works, I guess. 
thought for sure you'd be asleep. I also thought New Girl was not on Netflix for five cents. <laughs> we would have canceled our subscription. <laughs> it's so really it's so. I have a search for it. It wasn't in our like recently watched. We haven't watched it in a long time. What's this? Oh, donuts. <laughs> Happy birthday festivities. <laughs> Still, still watching New Girl. <laughs> Baby still asleep. Sarah and James had World War Three in there. We really did it. Like there wasn't a lot of like. It was just a standoff of stubbornness. <laughs> I just didn't let him leave the room. But he like wasn't upset about it, and then now it's going on three hours. But now he's and we like. It took a long time for him to go down, so it's been like. That plus the actual three hour nap. He must be gone. I did see his little fangs today. A little bit more? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, he's probably growing some. Guess who woke up from their <laughs> forever long nap? That was four hours. Look at this hair. This, like, <laughs> curl is coming up from an under layer of. What is this? Is my flash on? <laughs> it is. What? Eat the scone, baby. Your camera is right there. <laughs> This is a Blair Witch Project, James edition. Ooh, ah. Don't cast some spells on me. <laughs> All right, we're back off to a quick jewel trip, at least to get Sarah a pie. If you haven't been following along with us this, for a while now, you we have a tradition of having our birthday cake for breakfast on our birthday. So tomorrow's Sarah's birthday, so we need to get a pie or a cake. I think she wants a, an apple pie. I'm gonna see what's available at the bakery at Jewel. Um, so we have it for the morning. That's what James Z and I are doing right now, just taking a quick trip over to Jewel. Here's what we're going with. Also, Sarah and I just had the most ridiculous conversation about time travel and time zones. You having a good time? Oh, you gotta stay in. We gotta keep moving. Push your, your horn with your belly. I've been laying on the couch for a long time, but it's been so cozy and felt so good. Um, one of the last things that we got in our last Target haul was this Bobby pillow. That's what I mentioned earlier. And I just like, with Jamesy, I just used a pillow to nurse him. And it just like, it seems like this isn't going to be big enough. And I don't know, like maybe a boppy can be used for like a lot of other things. So I'm not going to like pitch it or return it like too fast. But it's just so funny that like, like baby gear, like it was like $40. And like I have just like pillows. <laughs> lying around that do the trick for me. Um, so there was that. We also just got some paper products so that whoever is here with Jamesy can have that at ease. It was kind of like our last haul. Um, or hopefully we do need to like, I feel like get just like snacks and like fill the fridge with like fruit and veggies for like easy stuff for James. But worst case, we can always like Venmo whoever's taking care of him or like send an Amazon fresh delivery. But the boys are at Jewel now getting me my birthday pie. Um, and I don't know, like it feels like, you know, an uneventful birthday, but it's truly like the most eventful birthday ever, even if Teddy doesn't come um, tomorrow. Which is so funny because like my mom went into labor on May 17th and had me on the 18th. So I don't, I mean midnight tonight, it'll officially not be that. I could still go into labor and have him tomorrow, but just like she went into labor the 17th. Um, so we'll see about if history repeats itself. But I'm kind of just like at, like I'm cool with staying at home. I don't want to like risk any of us getting sick because like I want James to be able to meet Teddy right away 
like, I'm kind of just like cool with being chill at home. And on one hand, I'm like, okay, well now we can do something. But on the other hand, I'm like, let's just make a fort and watch a whole season of something. I don't know. Peter and I have belly aches from our chips and sweets earlier. But Jamesy still needs dinner. Where are you going? Comment below if you think James walks like uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Speaking of, I put on Pirates of the Caribbean. We also got fancy drinks for Sarah. Six pack of this pomegranate orange uh, San Pellegrino. Whoop! There she is. She's in here. Give it a whirl. You still have half of the can. It's just that thing was full of ice. Heating up the air fryer now. We're air frying those, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna toss some water in the bottom of it. I think that's the way we got to do that. This is good. We're gonna watch the comedian later, right? Discovery Plus. Our friend Maria F told us about it. We have to. It's your people. We don't have Discovery Plus. We are gonna get it. Do I hear Pirates of the Caribbean? Were you vibing? Because I was talking about the rumors of Margot Robbie. No. I just put that. Because mm. it's classic. What are you handing me that for? That's yours. I'm busy. <laughs> Where's the boo boo? <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Uh, you a blues brother? You a Chicago boy? Oh, oh hey. Sweet. Hey, blue eyes. Oh, let me help you. <laughs> Our night is quickly coming to an end, but a new Currently Hannah video got posted on YouTube today. So we're gonna watch that before we go to bed. We love Currently Hannah. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Being a tourist in Tokyo. Let's go. May 17th, Tuesday. Wendy Kopp once said, Innovation is not primarily about coming up with new ideas. It's about connecting good ideas to human needs. Trick, it's actually after midnight. Happy birthday, Sarah. Thank you. You're the best. You are. Just gotta figure out how we wanna celebrate tomorrow because we kinda made zero plans and did zero prep because without we might be in the hospital. <laughs> I'm like I like that though. Yeah. And maybe we didn't buy we didn't like start our Discovery Plus subscription tonight. So maybe we do that tomorrow. Maybe. We wanna watch what is it called? Well done. Well done. What's his name? Uh Sebastian Maniscalco. How'd I say it? How'd I do? <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>